Hi, I'm Eric Pratt from US Broadcast, and today we're going to be talking about Science Image's line of full NDI, HD, and 4K encoders. These are units that can encode and decode full NDI, making them perfect for bringing in sources into vMix or outputting directly from vMix to something like a monitor. So let's take a closer look at the units and what makes them great. Science Image have a full range of products, but today we're going to be focusing on their full NDI HD and 4K models. Um, this is the NDI HD Mini. It has 3G SDI in and loop through, um, 4K P30 HDMI in and loop through a Ethernet with PoE power, a USB connector for a variety of uh, uses, an SD card slot, uh, and a 3.5 mil jack. As well, it also has an LCD display, which tells you all kinds of important things like what mode it's in. Currently, it's acting as an encoder. What its name is, it's NDI-X. Um, the resolution that it's auto-detected, 1920 by 1080 P60, and the IP address that it's at, uh, 1.3, which makes it easy to go into the web UI and throw it into decode mode, which we'll do in a moment. Uh, it also tells you what connectors it's sensed and uh, audio and the uh, CPU um, power that it's operating at. The 4K version is very similar. It has the same uh, SDI and HDMI all in one, making it uh, a nice single unit that you can use to do a variety of different things, except for this one is uh, 12G SDI in and through and 4K P60 uh, in and through. And then uh, another interesting feature that the uh, 4K.SH has that the uh, NDI uh, HD Mini doesn't have is an optical slot for a 12G SDI SFP. So you can use that to connect uh, two units together um, and use that in a variety of different ways that give you added functionality. Both units also have tally lights and they also have um, quarter 20 uh, for mounting on a camera or tripod or accessory device. So we're going to log into the 4K.SH one. That's the 12G 4K P60 HDMI model. And uh, that's because I need to switch this over to decode to show you that it's outputting 12G SDI from vMix, uh, which makes a very handy device in certain circumstances. However, right now it's in encode mode. Um, let me just take you on a quick tour of the UI. So this is the dashboard, um, just indicates CPU temperature, how long it's been on, what the sources it's being fed are, um, a nice picture of it, and then uh, a variety of parameters. Networking over here, it's set to DHCP, but of course we could set it to specific IP addresses. Uh, we can tell it uh, the address to look for the NDI discovery server, um, NDI multitasking, uh, transfer and group setting names. And over here, this is the encode settings. And this is where we're going to find something uh, a little bit unique. Um, all of the normal settings like stream name, uh, aspect ratio, frame rate, uh, adjustment of bit rate uh, against uh, what it's expecting. We can decrease the amount of uh, traffic that it's going to be using on your router. But up here is something really, uh, really interesting, video format conversion. And right now we're feeding at a 1080p60 signal from one of the PTZ cam cameras. And we are up converting it to 21p60. And the neat thing is, is that we can convert that source to any of these output sources, not just on the SDI loop through, but also the NDI. So we are up converting the 1080p60 signal to 2160p60 um, into vMix. And that lets us use the device as a format converter to convert basically any input format to any output format, which in and of itself makes it an extremely valuable tool. Uh, another cool thing here is, is we can set a background. So if we want to set up a default background that we can use like our company logo, um, the other thing that we can do is we can adjust a, a variety of settings, the optical transceiver, whether the uh, intercom is on or not, uh, tally LED switch, and we can adjust things like the uh, audio encoding volume, the line in volume, the external audio embedding settings. But we are going to switch this over to decode, which right now is disabled because we need to go into system and we need to switch it from encoder over to decoder. And 
that'll just take it a moment as it changes the mode. And what this does is it puts it in a mode that allows us to decode sources. So this is a variety of uh, outputs. This is the LPU3's output. So I'm going to set it to vMix's output, and I'm going to take vMix's 2160p60 full NDI output and convert it to 12G SDI. And you can see that here on the monitor over here. This is our 12G SDI monitor. We're connecting the output here. So we're not doing any format conversion. I mean, we are, but vMix is actually doing it. We're feeding vMix a 1080p60 signal from the camera here. And then vMix is doing its production in 2160p60. So the output is now going to the 4K.sh decoder. It's decoding that full NDI stream to 12G SDI and displaying it on the monitor here or doing whatever we want with it. Working with these sources in vMix is relatively easy. Uh, we can just go to add input, NDI desktop capture, wait for the input to show up, and then we have our two encoders. We've got our HD and we've got our 4K encoder, and it just appears. Uh, they both have the same source, uh, but to make that simpler. We've got the um, 4K source in program and we can see right now it's coming in at 3840 by 2160 um, at 60p and if I wanted to pop back and change that to auto uh, it should probably change our NDI source from 2160 down to its regular 1920 by 1080. So there we go. Uh, we just changed the resolution that the NDI is coming in to vMix at. And we also changed the loop through, incidentally. Um, I don't know if you saw it, but the monitor updated its refresh rate there. So working with uh, NDI sources from Science Image in vMix is pretty easy. And if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out. Once again, I'm Eric Pratt from US Broadcast, and thanks for watching.